let's have a look at 1C of the database task. You'll see here there's a message about buying tickets. You're being asked to create a form with all fields and all is in bold, so that's important. And you have to update the database with the details below. You're also being asked to insert a heading, tickets sold, and you'll have to put the logo into your form. So this is how you do it. So the first thing to do is to click on create, then go along to form wizard. And you'll see here we've got the, the venues table with all the fields. But notice if we go to the right of this and click on the drop down option, there are actually two tables that we can use. And remember from the last task, these tables are linked together. It is a relational database because the common field is the venue ID that links them both together. So when we're creating our form, we can take fields from each table. So starting with tickets, I want to bring down all the information, all the fields from here. Quickest way is to click on the double arrows. Single take you one at a time, double does everything at the same time. Then we have to select the venues table. Now remember, we've already brought across venue ID. So we don't actually need the venue ID from the venues table. That'll be a duplicate. So we'll start on venue name and this time using the single arrow to bring down all the rest of the fields one at a time. Then click on next. Now in terms of how you want to view your data, I want it on a single form. I want it in the order that I've selected, so I'm absolutely happy with that. I just click on next. Keep it as column. Yes, that's fine. Click on next. And then remember, we've been asked to type in a title of tickets sold. So just type it in. Be careful of your spelling and where you're putting in capital letters. Then click on finish. And now we have the table set up as a form. The last thing that we need to do is to insert the logo into the top right hand side of the form and this is how you do it. First of all go up to design view so up the top left hand corner change it to design view and you'll see that we have an option to insert an image. Click on that I already have the logo if you don't have it in your image gallery, it'll be in the file. Click on it and then you essentially draw where you want your logo to go. I know it has to be on the top right hand corner. That looks about right. If I want to have a little look to see what it does actually look like, I can go to view. And if you're happy with that, leave it. If you're not, go back to, to design and then you can adjust it as you see fit. OK, so the last thing we need to do is to insert the additional information. If we look at our form and down at the bottom here, record, at the moment we're in the very first record, one of 35, or row one of the table. If we click along, you'll see there with the triangle and the line, last record, click on that, and then we can click on the single triangle to get the next record. Now it's blank and we can start typing in the details, which I'll do now. So that's the new details in and remember when you are inserting data please type it in accurately, correct spelling, correct punctuation, correct capital letters etc. Now I notice here that she has chosen venue ID 3. So if I type in 3 then click to the next field you'll notice that everything from the venues table has automatically been updated. And all I have to do is put in the number of tickets, which is 10. It does say Jedburgh here, and I do nothing with that except for I do check over here to say the town. Yes, that is correct. 10 tickets for the Jedburgh Cayley. So the last thing to do is to print off a copy of Leah's record only. So where I'd go for that is up to File, and then to Print. I choose the Print option, and if I click on selected record only, then that will print whatever record you have on screen. Click OK and that will print it off. So that's how you do task 1C.